Welcome to part two of our video series on building a smart home application example using Embark and Amazon AWS IoT. In this section, we go over host and target development environment requirements for the application. Uh, so first we'll look over the development host environment requirements. In this video, we use a standard laptop running Windows 7 as the host machine development environment. For those of you using Linux host, Similar instructions to the one I'm about to go through here are available for Linux on Embark.org. The hardware requirements for your PCs are very straightforward. You need access to the internet via Ethernet or Wi-Fi, as well as access to a USB port for serial over USB connection to your target system. Speaking of the target system, uh, let's take a look at that right now. Our target system emulates an IoT smart home device, and it is the ARC EM Starter Kit, which we'll refer to as the EMSK going forward. If you don't already have an EMSK, you can buy one from synopsis.com website at the following URL. You can simply enter the quantity required and proceed with the purchase. Speaking of the EMSK platform, let's talk about the processor itself first. The EMSK platform is an FPGA-based platform, and it supports multiple versions and configurations of the ARC EM processor family. Uh, these go on the FPGA we see here, and they're selectable by the DIP switch that you see here. For this application, uh, we are using the ARC EM7D processor configuration. If you want more information on the EMSK, a complete documentation is available from Embark.org. Now, in addition to the EMSK board itself, we need some additional extension modules for this application. And these modules are referred to as PMODs and are available from Digilent Inc. Uh, as well as other distributors. Uh, I have a link here to the Digilent website. Uh, here's the URL and you could procure pretty much any module that you want to enhance functionality out of EM Starter Kit as it is uh, fully compatible with the EMSK, with the PMOD modules, excuse me. Now in this application, we use two PMODs. The first one is a PMOD Temp 2, which is a temperature sensor. The second one is a PMOD Wi-Fi for connectivity. And PMOD Temp 2 goes in the J2 connector of the board. PMOD Wi-Fi goes in the J5 connector of the board. In addition to those PMODs, we use an SD card for storing uh, keys and certificate information for secure communication. Uh, we also use LEDs and buttons to simulate lights and door locks just uh, in our application. And finally, uh, there is a USB connection to your laptop and a power connection, which is not shown here, but you will have power connected. So that concludes the requirements for your development host and target. Next, we will go over uh, how to download and install the application and tools required.